Hello and welcome back guys. In today's mani I'm using two dips from the newly released New Mexico Jewelry Collection from Sundara. Um, this one here which says Tribes is actually Santa Fe. Um, they changed the minute, er, the minute, the name last minute and um, there was a mix up with the tags when they sent, my, my, sent me my ambassador box. Um, but I'll be using that one which is Santa Fe and it's a light brown with a shimmer. And here's the swatch of it. I did a little practice stamping on it. Uh, but I'm not going to be using that stamping in this video. I'll be using some, but not that one. Next, we have Enchantment, which is a very beautiful, it's almost like a milky, sheer white base with silver foils and turquoise glitters. And here she is swatched in all of her beauty. I love those diamond sh shaped shaped shifting glitters say that three times fast <laughs> to start out i have builder gel on my natural nail and i'm going to be using the sundara pill base and this will be my first um, time using their pill base and i love it it definitely works very well i usually use the unt um, but that's been scarce lately i don't know why uh, so i decided I wanted to try more of their products and they had a pill base and I'm so glad I did because it works amazingly I mean UNT works good and it's been my favorite thus far but I have to say this is my new favorite and I will continue to use it After applying pill base I wait four to five minutes and then I'm gonna go in with my first dip and I'm gonna start out with Santa Fe um, which this is labeled tribes like I said in the beginning but it is Santa Fe if you look it up on the website and I'm gonna be using Sundara dip liquids my favorite and guys I'm not just saying this I promise because of I'm, I'm an ambassador they became my favorite before I became an ambassador I signed up for the ambassador program because how much I love their products. Okay, that's enough of how much I love Sundara. We all know now. Uh, but I did two dips of the Santa Fe on my thumb, index, and pinky. After dipping or pouring over, however, you do it in your process um, you want to take the precision tool or cuticle orange stick whatever you call it <laughs> and clean your sidewalls and cuticle area and with these liquids being odorless they are slower drying which I've said already in a few of my other videos but I just like to throw that in there um, which gives you more time to work around the cuticle and sidewall area which is another thing I love about these dips um, they're not super slow drying but they're not fast so it gives you a, it's like a happy medium Next, I'm going in with the enchantment, and I'm just applying a thin layer of base, as I did on the other nails. And for the first layer of the enchantment, I'll be pouring over just to catch the base color and a few of the smaller glitters, whatever to catch with the first pour over.
after pouring over, I'll just remove any glitters or foils that are sticking off the sides or not where I want them. And then pat down lightly because the base is not dry fully yet. And for the second layer, I poured it into the cupcake liner and shake it around a little to bring those glitters up to the top and foils and dip it in. And you see here, I got a little, well, a lot too much. <laughs> so I just used my precision tool to remove what I don't want. Now that I've removed what I don't want, I'm going to take some of the individual foils and glitters and place them in spots that I do want them. I'll go in with another thin layer of base and then individually place the glitters and foils where I want them. After getting everything where I want it, uh, the base is still a little wet, so I'll go ahead and dip it in clear, and then I'll repeat another dip in clear if, if necessary. Once I know the clear is dry enough, I will take a plastic baggie and just press down and make sure all the glitters are flat and there's no lumps and bumps. Now I'm just going to be repeating the same process for the second dip on my ring finger. Now it's time to apply the first layer of activator and I'm going to extra saturate the accent nails because they are a little thicker. I just want to make sure it soaks all the way through so when you go to file it doesn't start coming off in chunks. We don't want that. I got a little extra base up around my cuticle on a couple of my nails, so I just take my glass cuticle file to clean that up. And these are a life changer. If you don't have one, get one. Um, I'll link it below with everything else I've used in this video. Now for the filing and buffing, and I'll be doing minimal filing and buffing on the Santa Fe nails, which are the brown nails. Um, I did not encapsulate those in clear, so they do not need a lot of filing and buffing, and if you did, it would 
follow all the brown off so I just lightly buff those um, but for the accent nails they are thicker um, being a chunky glitter and having a dip or two of clear on top it will definitely require more filing and buffing After filing and buffing, I go in with a stiff brush and some alcohol just to clean off the excess powder. I just wanted to include here a little clip of me cleaning my, I think this is my base gel, not gel, sorry, base liquid, dip liquid. But I just take a little acetone on a lint-free wipe, clean the rim good, and I'll pick off any dry glue and then apply cuticle oil around the rim and replace the lid. And I do that for my uh, base and top. So I'm gonna be doing some stamping and I prefer to use gel with that. So I'll be using this Sparkle & Co top and base gel. And first I'll go in with the base gel and then cure 30 seconds. For the stamping polish, I'll be using Maniology's White and then a turquoise from Born Pretty. And then I just do a little dot side by side and swirl it with my card and swipe. Next, I take my jelly stamper and just quickly rock it over to pick up the image. And then I will position it where I want it. And then press down, rocking side to side, front to back. And voila! I'll be repeating the same steps for the other two nails. Um, I was going for the Zuni jewelry look, which I don't know if you know what that is. I didn't until now. Um, with this being the New Mexico jewelry collection, I wanted to try to go along with that theme. And according to my research, Zuni jewelry was originated between Navajo and Zuni Indians, made with turquoise and silver. I did look up some of the jewelry and include a picture of one of the beautiful pieces here. Now I'll be going in with top coat and I do one coat and cure 30 seconds. Um, some people go in with a second, I don't usually, sometimes I do, but normally I just do one. So I have a new finish to my mani. Usually I would finish off just the cuticle oil, but I've fallen in love with this Butter Me Up Body Butter from Wild South Skin Care, and it smells so amazing. I get it in lavender vanilla, but they have many other scents, but so far this is my favorite. And here's the finished mani. I hope you guys like it. I love it. I say that about every mani, don't I? <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.